Good morning, my friends, and welcome. I hope that you are enjoying and finding useful the prayers that Tai has offered to us for mindful practice, mindful awareness, mindful prayer. Mindfulness practice guides us in watering the seeds of those parts of us that we want to grow, moves us into insight of our own motivations, and brings us to a clarity about the next right action. This is known as right mindfulness. There are three so-called poisons that can rob us of peace and generosity. These three poisons are anger, aversion, and greed. These three poisons bring the anger, afflictions, fear, and anxiety that form into what are known as unwholesome mental formations and become the perceptions through which we look at the world and respond. Mindfulness practice grows in us the capacity for awareness of how and when our mental formations are serving as obstacles, our belief systems keeping us in ignorance, our unreasonable expectations keeping us in anger, and our insecurities turning us as it grows the seeds of greed within us. Let us sit in your chair that supports you, aware of your body and any discomfort that your body is feeling right now, any tightness, stiffness, or pain. And on your next out breath, allow yourself to give permission for those things to flow out of you as they can with each out breath become smaller and less intense. Breathing in, breathing out. Next, begin to observe your mental formations, the ideas and tendencies within you that lead you to speak and act and believe as you do. Unwholesome mental formations come about through our life experience and by the collective consciousness of those around us, from family to society as a whole. These form into the three poisons of anger, ignorance, and greed. And as you look at yourself with the eyes of understanding and love, and as you sit, become aware of any elements of your consciousness that may be at war with each other, and particularly those that are the sources of anger, craving, and delusion, the three poisons in yourself. When these are seen clearly, they can be transformed through practice, prayer, and the willingness to let what feeds them go. Let us enter into our sixth mindfulness prayer, the one for today. May I learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in myself. And may they be transformed. May he learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in himself. And may these in him be transformed. May she learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in herself. And may these be transformed. 
bringing to mind anyone with whom you have difficulty or judgment. May they learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in themselves. And may they be transformed. We might even wonder if the sources of anger, craving, and delusion form the foundation for much of the violence and hatred in the world. Anger is an energy of separation and unquestioning, unmindful judgment. Craving is being absolutely wedded to what you believe must be and you will sacrifice anything to get it. Delusion is the illusion that there are any one separate from another. We live and breathe and move with the same divine energy as the other. In fact, there really is no other except when viewed through the wrong mental formations of anger, craving, and delusion. Repeating silently inside yourself with me. May I learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in myself. May he and may she Learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in themselves. May they learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in themselves. May we all learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in ourselves. In mindfulness practice, self-awareness, self-honesty, and willingness to be transformed create the transformation of these poisons into loving kindness and action. And to the one to whom you pray, asking that you may be given greater capacity to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in yourself, and that you may be completely willing to trust and allow their transformation. May we all learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in ourselves. May we not project our anger onto others. And may we be able to allow their transformation with the help of the being who created us and knows us even better than we know ourselves. Today, allow yourself to be aware, simply to see the anger, craving, and delusion around you or within you. We all have those poisons. And take the time to be aware of how they may distort perceptions of the present moment or relationships of the heart or the capacity to act with loving kindness and passion in the world to relieve suffering. It's a lot of things to think about, my friends. Take it with you. Practice. Namaste. Amen.